Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm going to continue the conversation around DevOps or ServiceNow DevOps. Um, and I'm going to keep this one short and really about the change policy, okay? So if you've made a code commit and you've got a pipeline going and you've configured that to open a change request in ServiceNow, you can have that change request follow a different process. And that different process, this is a demo example, is using, looking at uh, it's different data points. So it's gathering some information about the committer, about the test results, how many percent have passed, stuff like that in this demo example. And then it's applying a change policy based on the results. And so you can see here, if I scroll down a little bit, it might auto approve the DevOps change or it might do an assignment and actually assign somebody to approve that change. And you do that configuration when you're setting up um, DevOps within ServiceNow. What I want to show you, this I think it's really cool, if we go to the actual decision table that's doing that, um, that particular change, I'm going to go into this DevOps demo change policy because that's the one I was messing around with as I was working on a demo for a potential customer. And what's neat, and I found, well, you're gonna get a twofer here too, the decision tables themselves are pretty neat. It's a pretty neat feature, so if you haven't seen this already, you should definitely check it out. But look on, the, just to my, uh, just over here, this direction, I have the two inputs coming in that how many commits have no work items associated with them and how many tests passed or what percentage of tests actually passed. And so I use those here in this decision table and based on certain conditions, is the testing results empty? Are there commits without a work item? How many commits have a no work item? Is it zero, is it one, is it greater than five? You can put whatever structure you want around that and then apply these different policies you see over the right. So notice I've got DevOps auto approve versus assignment group approval. And I've got in my instance about four different ones of those based on that. Here's the message I want you to take away from this you can use those insights I talked about in a previous video, I showed a dashboard, to drive and improve, accelerate, or slow down your change process as needed. So your job in a, uh, in a good IT organization is to keep things stable, but still respond to your customer's requests, your user's requests, and roll out enhancements. So with DevOps, you can use this decision table and the change policy and the workflow associated with that change to route that change to different places. Make it be auto-approved, gets it out faster, you know, do a group approval, gets it to the group or somebody to approve. That group could even be cab, like I talked about in my previous video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.